Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got, again, a fairly quiet start for the morning. It depends on where you're located. If you're east of the Mississippi River, you may see, again, a lot less problematic conditions out there than west of the Mississippi River, as we see, again, the possibility of more of these showers and thunderstorms we've been expecting for a while to not only linger into the Mid-South, but will continue across much of the area as we get into the rest of the next couple of hours. We continue again to see some very mild temperatures for now, but if you have any plans for outdoors for today, you're going to want to move them back indoors again just to be on the safe side as we see again the possibility of some more problems heading our direction, but we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Had an earthquake in East Tennessee. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit as well, and we'll also deal with a little bit more about the forecast as we go into next weekend, which does include some much cooler weather heading our way as in about 20 degrees below normal or so. Yeah, we'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Welcome to all of our Facebook friends. Thanks for joining us for early this morning on News Channel 3, also on Daybreak. Nina Harrelson finishing up the last half hour of news out on the news set, and I'll be joining her here coming up in just a little bit. Let's take a look at radar for this morning and show you a little bit more about what's going on, which again does not amount to too much out there. West of the Mississippi River, that's where the heaviest activity has been going on throughout the course of the rest of the morning and will continue to be that way throughout the rest of the morning into around this afternoon. More chances of rainfall overspreading the Mid-South and heading our direction. We don't have too much to worry about in the way of rainfall with this uh, in the way of heavy rainfall or severe weather, so definitely good news where that's concerned. Heavy rainfall crossing I-40 just to the west of West Memphis, Arkansas, and we're going to continue to see again the possibility of more of those scattered showers continuing out there, but much of what we've been seeing in the Mid-South has been, again, making its way through much of the area into and around the Mid-South area. Again, more potential for more showers and thunderstorms coming up a little bit later on. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. If you are in or know anybody in and around portions of East Tennessee between Knoxville and Crossville, there was a minor earthquake this morning. It wasn't much, about a 2.3 on the Richter scale, but it was uh, noticeable. So if you did feel this or anybody else did feel this, you know, please have them reported to the United States Geological Survey. And you can find out more about that by going to earthquakes.usgs.gov to find out more about what it's like out there for earthquakes and reporting information. Taking a look at what's going on with radar at this time, again, we do not have anything in the way of severe weather, nor have we had anything out there in the way of severe weather for today. But we'll continue to see more of these chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the morning into this afternoon. So if you have any plans for outdoors, be prepared for the potential of more of these showers making their way on through. They're going to be developing down to our south, moving up this direction, and could be again some lightning out there through the rest of the day. We're not seeing a lot of lightning. The atmosphere is not really primed for the development of a lot of severe weather, but it is primed for the occasional thunderstorm, which means you need to be uh, prepared for that out there. Julia Cavallo, welcome on Facebook. Angie Rose, thanks for stopping on by as well. And thanks to everybody for stopping by on Periscope and Twitter at this time. We're again seeing some chances of rainfall taking place in and around the Mid-South, but much of what we're looking at right now just to the west of Memphis is just scattered showers. Now, as of about 739, getting a little bit closer to the area between Crawfordsville and Forest City. We continue again to see more of these chances of showers uh, redeveloping into the rest of the day. Today, and there's plenty of moisture coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. What you're looking at is our interactive radar page available at wreg.com slash weather. Back to the east of the Mississippi, we are seeing some scattered showers develop, but we don't have any lightning to report at this time. South of Jackson, that's about the heaviest activity we've got right now, but these showers and thunderstorms are basically kind of coming and going. They develop, they drift, they collapse, and then that's about all that we see out of these things. But more activity like this throughout the rest of the morning. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything out there uh, in the way of showers or thunderstorms, keeping track of this. We'd love uh, to have your reports on this. If you see any showers or thunderstorms out that direction, please let us know and we'll keep you updated on this throughout the rest of the day. More chances of rainfall coming our direction as this system gets, again, a little bit closer to us. Uh, they're going to be moving on through the area by later on tonight. 
and once it does, dry air, a reinforcing shot of dry air with this next cold front arrives from the area, and that does a very good job of sweeping this rainfall away from us and getting it over toward the East Coast state. So we do not see anything in the way of major amounts of problems coming up after this system rolls on through, which is definitely good news for us here in the Mid-South area. So if you have any plans for this, again, for outdoors, if you can wait until tomorrow, that'll help by just a bit. But the good news, again, for anybody getting out the door on Monday, yesterday we were looking like Monday was going to be a sloppy mess to and from work and school. Right now does not appear to be the case, so definitely good news uh, where that's concerned across the Mid-South area so far. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on. Again, we could be seeing some isolated strong thunderstorms this morning and North Mississippi into this afternoon, but other than that, not too much. Much cooler air in the eastern parts of the viewing area by midweek. We could be looking at some patchy frost near the Mississippi River as we go into around the area of Wednesday morning. Here in the Mid-South area, again, things are decently quiet. More of our forecast available at WREG.com slash weather. More chances of rainfall, about a 95 to 100 percent chance of that throughout the rest of the day today. Heading into Tonight, low temperatures cooler back in the lower 50s as rain makes its way out of the Mid-South area and beyond. And then for Monday, plenty of sunshine heading our direction and temperatures doing quite nicely in the mid to upper 60s to the lower 70s. Sunshine galore, plenty of cool temperatures on Tuesday, lower to mid 60s, much more like late October should feel like. Late Tuesday night, early Wednesday morning, temperatures back into the mid to upper 30s to the lower 40s at this point in time. Donna Kirk Swaffer, welcome from Kansas, fellow Topeka West uh, graduate there. Looks like some pretty heavy rain in Kansas uh, last night, and good news on that. At least you got some rainfall to settle the dust, so thank you very much, Donna. Lynn Rooks, good morning to you. Thanks for stopping on by. High temperatures on Wednesday, lower to mid-60s across the Mid-South. Highs on Thursday, a little warmer, back into the lower 70s. That's as close to normal as we get for this time of the year, uh, for this week at least. And then things get very interesting toward Friday. Lows Thursday night, Friday morning in the lower 50s. Highs on Friday will be quite pleasant in the lower to mid 60s, but chances of rain will start to overspread the area. 40-50% chance as we head, unfortunately, right on into about Friday night football. So that can be a bit of a problem out there for outdoor activities. Lows Friday night cool back in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Winds come through the area at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And by next Saturday, high temperatures, not lows, highs back in the lower to mid 50s. If you were watching Yesterday, as we talked about that big dip in the jet stream being caused by Super Typhoon Lan out in the western Pacific, this is the cold air we're going to be expecting, and it's going to be moving in by the time we hit the next weekend. So we are looking at some fairly chilly numbers heading our way as we get into next week. And remember, you're looking at the high temperatures, not the lows, as we go into next weekend. Severe weather at this time from the Storm Prediction Center. The good news, we just have possibilities of thunderstorms. Some of those could be on the strong to severe side, but that marginal threat, that dark green blob down toward the Gulf of Mexico, uh, New Orleans, areas of southern Mississippi, southwest Alabama, and the extreme western part of the panhandle of Florida. That'll be a marginal threat of severe weather. Marginal threat, not exactly a huge threat, but that'll be the best concentration of severe weather. Either way, that light green area shows the possibility of thunderstorms, which is something that we will be watching with a lot of interest as we get into the rest of the day. We could see some isolated severe weather, but it doesn't look like a great chance, so that's very good news as we head into uh, the severe weather season for this time of the year. Don't forget, again, we have got uh, severe weather spotter training sessions coming up. If you'd like to learn more about severe weather, we've got six meetings left across the Mid-South, or you can take the information online. Stay tuned. We'll let you know more about that on my Facebook page. If you're not there, facebook.com slash Austinonic WREG. Also on Twitter at twitter.com slash Aonic underscore WREG3. And also available on Periscope, which is watching me, watching me, watching me, and watching me. So there's some neat little idea for you if you want to uh, take a look as to what's going on there on Facebook and Twitter and also on Periscope. So some great opportunities to see more. There we go. Me watching me watching me. That's kind of cool uh, to take a look at. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll be wrapping up a little bit more about what's going on 
on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Our seven-day forecast available at wrag.com slash weather if you'd like to know more. And if you can't tune in for the forecast on air as in TV or online, listen to us on the radio at Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network and also available bright and early Monday morning with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio Monday through Friday 7 to 9 a.m. Switching in a couple of weeks to their new time. We'll tell you more about that as we go throughout the next several days. Chances of rain again will be continuing across the Mid-South. We see plenty of rain showers out there and more heading our direction into the rest of the day today. i got to get back out on set to finish up on Facebook, so please jo- or finish up on live uh, TV forecasts here in just a couple of minutes, so stay tuned for more on that, and stay tuned for more on News Channel 3, social media here, here, and over there, and pretty much you can find me any place out there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for our Sunday morning's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.